Koe everyone, my name is Mai Moji and I'm the founder and the CEO of Kokum Scrunchies. I am 10 years old and the Algonquin from Kitagon ZB. Orange Shirt Day is important because it gives everyone a chance to learn remember and honor those that went to residential schools. Hello everyone, my name is Cindy Blackstock. I'm a member of the Gitsan First Nation. I'm so honored to join you from unceded and unsurrendered Algonquin territory here in Ottawa. Why is Orange Shirt Day important? Well, it's the day that we honor and recognize the children who are lost in residential schools and the survivors. And there's another piece to this too. And that is that we do our part to implementing the Truth and Reconciliation Commission's calls to action. My dream for the future, a generation of Indigenous children that don't have to recover from their childhoods and a generation of non-Indigenous kids who never have to say their story. Hello everybody, uh, my name is Alicia Cardinal. I am from Buffalo Lake Métis Settlement and I'm also from Goodfish, um, First Nations, also known as White F Whitefish Lake. I am Nihio or Cree and I'm also Métis. So my dad is Cree and my mom is Métis, which is why I identify as being Métis Cree. If someone that has no idea what Orange Shirt Day is and they see everybody wearing shirts one day, like, why is everybody wearing orange shirts? And, you know, oh, this is Orange Shirt Day. It is to honor residential school survivors and for all the children who couldn't make it home. And that person will maybe take that step forward and, you know, Google and educate themselves of what residential schools were and how it continues to impact Indigenous people today. You know, you're telling a story with these t-shirts and it, it means way more than what you would think it would be. Tanse Blake Desjardins here, federal NDP MP for Edmonton Griesbach. all of my fellow Indigenous young people out there, please know I'm very proud, and you should be too, that our people are continuing to speak our language, continuing to be present with the land, and continuing to make sure the next generation can thrive. And to all those who are non-Indigenous, thank you for listening, thank you for being with us, and thank you for wearing orange today. It's important that we as a country remember our history and remember that not everything in Canada has been perfect, but together through understanding, through listening to one another, respect and love, we can make sure that we can overcome any difference. All of the wounds that your hands hold, all of the hurt you contribution and your advocacy for Indigenous people is so important. If you're Indigenous, you're beautiful, you're bright, and always shine. Hi, I'm Haley Paco from the Penelicut tribe, and I reside in Victoria. Well, um, first, thank you. Um, just to us as Indigenous people, your support means everything. You can't just go and say, well, I believe in this cause, but I'm just not going to go out there, but because what's one person? But if everybody thought that, no one would be there. And it's just, it really touches our heart seeing those waves of orange at 
marches and ceremonies. Orange Shirt Day is also Truth and Reconciliation Day. And a big part of that is the truth, even though it isn't the best truth. Um, in order for us all to be reconciled, we have to know the truth and not just leave it in the past because that's where it belongs, but we have to think about it because where would we be without the past?